makes and today we're going to make some shortbread biscuits. I think shortbread is the nicest biscuit. Um, so I'll just talk you through what we're going to need. What we need is 100 grams of butter and it does have to be butter really, not margarine for this. 100 grams of plain flour, 50 grams of semolina and 50 grams of caster sugar. The semolina gives the biscuits a lovely crunch. Next is mix the dry ingredients together in the bowl. This is such a quick recipe, it's fantastic. You'll wonder why you ever bothered to go and buy any biscuits. It's honestly quicker than going and buying a packet of biscuits. Okay, so then you pop the butter in. So what we're going to do is rub the butter into the mixture. And I should have taken off my rings, shouldn't I? And um, until it looks like um, breadcrumbs. What you can see is that we don't add any liquid or anything like that to this mixture. It all gradually just comes together into one big clump like this. Obviously I've got half of it stuck in my rings. I'll get that out later. It'll give me something to do. Okay, so now what we're going to do is roll this out. Um, not too thin. Um, you'll see in a few minutes just how thin they should be. And cut them out carefully with a biscuit cutter. Okay, so I would say these are a couple of millimetres thick. Just get as many out of it as you can. If you don't have a biscuit cutter, um, what you could do is just make the whole thing into a round shape and flatten it out with your hands, score it into four and just pop it on a baking tray to cook it that way. Come on your baking tray and cook each one with a fork. going to do is put these in the middle of the oven about 160 degrees um, to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes but really keep your eye on them because they're quite thin so keep checking them. Right, so the biscuits are out of the oven they're on a rack now cooling they were only 10 minutes to cook so that's fantastic I've put a little bit of caster sugar over the top um, and they'll be lovely with a cup of tea what you could do is if you wanted to make them really nice is you could dip them in some melted chocolate and then they'd be extra special but I'm not going to do that today, I'm sure, much to everybody's disappointment, especially my children's. But anyway, this was Rachel Makes. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Um, if you liked it, please say so. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. And please make comments if you have any to make. Please make them nice ones. OK, bye bye.